Herman Cain once again on the defensive uh, as the Republican presidential race enters a critical phase right now. Nancy Cordes is in Hilton Head, South Carolina this morning for us. She has the very latest on the Cain campaign. Nancy, good morning. Good morning to you, Erica and Jeff. Her name is Ginger White. She's an Atlanta businesswoman, and she says that her affair with Herman Cain lasted for 13 years, ending just before he began his presidential campaign. She says she's coming forward to tell her story in part because she feels bad for the women who accused him of sexual harassment. It was pretty simple. It wasn't complicated, and um, I was aware that he was married. And I was also aware that I was involved in a very inappropriate um, situation, relationship. 46-year-old Ginger White told Atlanta's Fox station, WAGA, that her relationship with Kane started in the late 1990s and that he flew her around the country for more than a decade to meet up with him as he traveled. In an interview Monday, Kane was asked about her claims. He said the two were just friends. Now, when you say friend, was it an affair? I mean, I'm asking these are awkward questions, but I'll ask you the questions you're going to be asked. Was this an affair? No, it was not. There was no sex? No. Kane's attorney, Lynn Wood, was less categorical, saying that a reported sexual affair is, quote, not a legitimate news story, and that Kane has no obligation to discuss these types of accusations publicly. Kane, who has been married for 43 years, is competing for the votes of social conservatives, and the allegations of an affair come on top of several accusations of sexual harassment. Kane was the GOP frontrunner for weeks, but since the harassment allegations surfaced, his poll numbers have dropped. During the last week of October, he had 30 percent support nationally. Now he's hovering around 14 percent. Kane's loss has been Newt Gingrich's gain. The former House Speaker is now in first place in many polls. In South Carolina, he attempted to fend off attacks from rivals that he is soft on immigration. Several of my friends have said I'm for amnesty. That's not true. At least one of them is running around saying, I want to have amnesty for 11 million people. That's just totally false. On Monday, Gingrich told a South Carolina radio station he was better positioned than his opponent, Mitt Romney, to be the Republican nominee. I don't claim to be the perfect candidate. I just claim to be a lot more conservative than Mitt Romney uh, and a lot more electable than anybody else. Kingrich has opened five campaign offices here in South Carolina. He's beefing up his staff, holding a couple of fundraisers here on Hilton Head Island this morning. It's a far cry from this summer when his campaign was almost broke, when many of his top, top staffers quit all at once. He says now he's planning on making a real play for this state. Jeff and Erica. Nancy, I'll take it. Nancy and Hilton Head this morning. Nancy, thanks.